All right, we're back with video number five of our getting started with Pro Tools and getting in there and recording right away. Last time we did some MIDI recording and editing. Now we have our foundation with our drums. Today we're going to talk about audio. We're going to create audio tracks. We're going to name them. And we're going to start recording and do some basic editing. I'm going to do Shift Command N to create a new track. I want an audio track, right? And I want two. So this will be guitar one. And this one I will copy. And I will go to here and paste guitar two. So you can move between tracks by hitting the previous button or the next button, which takes a while. Or you can do command. Your command key is going to wear out when I'm done. Arrow back, arrow forward. Guitars for me, I always make them purple. And let's make one of them a little bit different color so we can differentiate. Now we want to make sure the outputs are monitor out. So what I'll do is I'll click on both. And we learned this in the last lesson. Option shift lets you a uh, single thing to multiple sources, I should say. So the output's going to be monitor out and the input is going to be API 7. So that's how my guitars come in. I'm plugging them direct, no amp. You know, so whatever your interface input is, if you're using that as your preamp, then you would just select that in this case here. I'm going to put one of these in record. And I'm going to grab a guitar. So let's get it. So I have this sweet Michael Tuttle telly. I'm going to option drag my send down, which is sending to Logic. So we can hear what's going on. And then I'm going to pan these. So you have a little separation. I'm going to match the panning. Now, to change your panning in the edit window, you can take the fader, a little pan fader, and move it that way. In the mix window, remember, command equals. Do it that way. The cursor right where this starts. And we got to click on, we have two bars of pre-roll. Remember the pre-roll, you turn it on and off from command K. So thanks again for watching these Pro Tools Tips videos. We do appreciate it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so we can let you know when we have more like this coming. Feel free to send us any messages or comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any ideas or if I missed anything or if you have any key commands, shortcuts that I don't know about, I'd love to learn them from you. Thanks again.